Welcome back to the Snowpoint Cast. Today we're going to be looking at how to start playing Pokemon using the TCG One browser. Uh, so, for the, those who don't know, TCG One is a free Pokemon TCG client that's accessible via TCG One.net. Uh, super awesome and really user friendly once you know the ropes. It is a little bit complicated, so we're going to dive into like what are the steps to get a deck and stuff. Uh, but it's really easy once you know how to do it. Uh, also, the Snowpoint Circuit, the tournament Discord that I run, uh, is currently running free RS to PK and 2006 brackets, sometimes with prizing, uh, that already use TCG1. So, I, I mean, I love the client. I think it's so good. It's free, and it has near no glitches, and the glitches that happen get addressed really quickly. Uh, that Anyway, they already use TCG1, and there are likely to be more formats as they become available. I talked to the uh, devs for TCG1, and they said that they plan to do, like, the DP block as well. So 09 and 2010 are eventually probably going to become a thing as soon as that drop out. Uh, so anyway, to... Get into TCG1, the first thing you gotta do is make an account. So at the top right of the page, there's a login slash register button uh, that will take you to another page where you'll be able to either make an account or log in once you already have an account. Uh, and then at this point, you'll be allowed to access the lobby. Click the play game button beside your ID and you'll be taken to a page that seems like a lot. It's like so many things, but a lot of them don't really matter, and the ones that do matter, we're gonna talk about. So to begin, we're gonna talk about how to make a deck. Uh, so click the Quick Play Decks tab, and you'll be taken uh, to another page with a Create Deck button. So click that button. And then uh, I usually create instead of importing, because it tends to be easier, but if you already have a list uh, that using the Import button isn't that bad of an option, it tends to miss some things, and it's pretty particular about spelling and stuff. Uh, but anyway, so. Now you're ready to make a deck. Uh, so simply select the format in which you want your deck to be in. And then the search bar will limit the card pool to only those cards. And it's as simple as searching for the card at that point. Uh, so you click, find the card, you know, search it in the search bar. And then you click the green button one to four times to add that many cards to your deck. And if you want to remove cards, simply select them and then click the red arrow underneath it. So now that you've got a deck together, uh, you've got a couple of options to find an opponent. The first is the create custom game button in the lobby. So it'll put uh, a game in a format of your choosing offered in the public lobby. You can also enter other people's games using the join button uh, if they're in a format that you see you have a deck for that you wanna play in. Uh, but the main useful way to challenge opponents is challenging them directly because then you can like challenge friends and stuff. So simply click the social button at the top left. And then if you have friends, they'll show up here. Uh, I don't know any friends because I'm a loser, I guess. <laughs> but you can also challenge an opponent online by selecting the lobby tab uh, by right clicking their name and then clicking the send challenge button where you'll be able to select the format deck and spectate spectator options of your choosing it's really nice i mean especially if you're testing uh, something hush hush or like a new archetype i don't know especially in like i don't know i was testing and there was people hopping in testing rooms all the time when there's a tournament going on so it's like sometimes you leave it on but maybe if, maybe not if you're testing some spicy stuff uh so if you have any other questions about how to use the client or uh, about the Snowpoint circuit tournament discord uh, with a link in the description feel free to leave them in the comments below and i'll do my best to get to them uh, thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.